When I first came to Salisbury, we didn't have the Salisbury School. We didn't have the Arthur W. Purdue Stadium. We didn't have the Purdue College of Business. So it's, uh, I guess culturally, it's changed a whole lot. Uh, hi, I'm Mitzi Purdue, and I've been a Salisbury resident, a happy Salisbury resident, for 30 years, and I love it dearly. And I wouldn't live anyplace else. Many institutions, including Salisbury University, owe their existence to the Purdue Company. It started, in, the company started in 1920, and I'm so proud of that because we're about to have our centennial. And a little sort of PS to uh, our having started in 1920, their estimates, that makes us you know, a hundred year company. The estimates are that only one family owned company in a thousand makes it a hundred years. So I'm really proud of that. Frank used to say on the subject of education that there was no better investment for a person or a charity or a region than education because that makes so much else possible. So, you know, he, he, it was very, very deliberate that he invested in education, the Salisbury School, the Purdue School of Business. I've, I've never come across any place where people invested so much time, love, money, and effort into their community. I'm really impressed by how Mayor Day is just putting heart and soul into being innovative about taking Salisbury forward. Um, we, want, we want growth here. We're not in a community that is um, anti-growth, uh, you know, uh, we're, we're not in a community that is starved for growth. We, this has been a steadily growing community. It's Maryland's fastest growing city, uh, seventh, fa seventh fastest growing job market in America. Um, Salisbury is an interesting place. Over recent decades, Salisbury has grown tremendously, adding many attractions to its downtown area. You have downtown things such as the waterfront area, which is a kind of a recreational area. Uh, Salisbury got the zoo downtown. I mean, so there are some of these things that are still part of, let's call it, that recreational experience. The hospital and the university are the two biggest economic drivers in the city right now. I don't know the size of the actual payrolls, but they have a huge impact. One of the ways of looking at that is the multiplier effects from it, from a payroll. You have students who come to Salisbury University, they spend money in housing, food, recreation, and so forth, so they contribute to the economic life of the community above and beyond what they may be paying for their studies at the university. And the same thing is true of the hospital. The PRMC started off as a very small hospital around the turn of the 20th century and has since expanded where it's now recognized among the top hospitals in the country performing things like bypass operations and things that were unheard of until a number of years ago. I would look at both as critical employers. Um, they in total represent about 6,000 jobs. Um, those 6,000 jobs are only a start. Because what really is influential and significant is the 2,000 young people that walk across the stage every single year at Salisbury University with a diploma in hand. If it were a factory, you'd say, what widget are they pumping out? They're pumping out bright, talented, young, smart people who are getting ready to go kick the door down on the economy and just do amazing things. And you better hold on to them. Uh, for dear life, um, because that's the future. That is the future of our, our community. The National Folk Festival has also brought many people from all over the United States to Salisbury, where they can take in the sights, spend their money, and boost local businesses. Even now, plans are in motion to make Salisbury the best possible destination for future employers and residents. Uh, we were recently named by the um, National Association of Realtors as the number one next urban powerhouse, and um, the, the the numbers in the number inputs that they used for that were things like, you know, attendees to events. We had just had the National Folk Festival, um, uh, economic growth, job growth, um, housing growth. Uh, so all those things factored into their an analysis of the next urban powerhouses, and it was all you know small and medium sized cities that would. Um, grow into, in the coming decades, a, a larger uh, metropolis um, and where they thought the growth was going to happen. Uh, it's kind of interesting. Where do I think that lands us? Um, I think uh, in 50 years we will have 
um, a cultural uh, uh, transformation. We're going to be an incredibly diverse place. One of the things that I think will propel this region forward is being a welcoming center to newcomers from other regions. They're the ones with entrepreneurial skills and talents, and they'll do startup businesses here in Salisbury. The Knorr Brothers, who've had Evo Craft Brewing, uh, so you have these new kinds of startup industries like that, and they're bringing life and vibrancy and employment to this region. So to the extent that this area can create a welcoming business environment for these people to start up new businesses, that will help to reshape what it will be. Uh, our downtown master plan will be implemented. The urban greenway will be complete, uh, which is under construction now. Um, every one of the bike routes um, that is going to be uh, completed over the next decade will be done, and then we'll be upgrading those. I think in over 30, 40 years, we'll be upgrading those to all protected lanes. Um, no more painted stripe uh, bike lanes, all protected lanes. Um, the North Prong Park will be done. The rail trail from Del Mar to Fruitland through the city will be done. Um, I think we'll have uh, a bus service that the city runs in concert with our bike share and scooter share system. So I think we will have a, a, a hybrid transit system. I think we'll be one of the first cities in America to fully operate a total from scooter all the way to bus system. Um, you know, uh, I, I think uh, we will be a city that is probably in the neighborhood of 100,000 people um, and in a county with maybe uh, double that, uh, maybe close to double that. Um, and I think we will be a, uh, uh, if not Maryland's um, second largest city, uh, we will be certainly remain Maryland's second uh, largest metro area. Um, I think we'll be known. We'll be known far and wide as a, um, a, a place where young people want to be. Um, and an exciting place to live. Over the span of 133 years, Salisbury as a city has gone through more than most countries. From a city on fire, through the decline of industry, to rise from the ashes, destined to become a virtual urban utopia.